How's it going, everybody? This is the Nitty Gritty. My name is Chad. With me, as usual, is Leonard. This is a show about wrestling, and we are doing another one of our random match reviews here. And that happens when one of us has sent the other one a random match, uh, usually via text message. And usually it's a match that we haven't seen. And then we share our thoughts here on the video for you all. And on this occasion, Leonard sent me a match, one of the most random of all, which certainly qualifies to be in this series of videos. So Leonard, why don't you tell everybody what match you sent? So uh, you can find this on YouTube. It is Terrible Ted the Wrestling Bear versus his trainer, Gene Dubois from Buffalo, New York. Unsure of the year. Uh, the video itself is about seven minutes, 40 seconds long. And it's in black and white. And commentary is by Dave Meltzer and Jim Cornette. So this is probably from quite a while ago, considering Cornette and Meltzer have been on the outs for several years right now. But to hear them together just talking very cordially is kind of neat to hear. And they don't so much just call the match as they talk about the history of wrestling bears and, and, and bears in professional wrestling. And as I was telling Chad before we came on, how this came about was I forget exactly what we were watching or something came up about wrestling bears. And my wife thought it was a joke. And I said, no, bears used to wrestle. That was a thing. And so I looked it up. I found this match. We watched this match. And she was very fascinated by the history and then talking about it. And the fact that, as Cornette says, this was something commonly done up until the early 1980s really surprised me. And the fact that guys like Jerry Lawler and Bobby Eaton that he mentioned had wrestled bears on shows. I know Roddy Piper has a story about uh, wrestling bears that he told Joe Bob Briggs when he was on Monster Vision uh, several years, well, a long time ago now, um, uh, when he, they showed They Live and I think Immortal Dead was the other one, but he told the wrestling bear story. And I found another video of a bear wrestling at, I believe it was the Nebraska, no, it was the Iowa, it was the Iowa State Fair from 1973 that was in color and I believe it was part of ABC's Wild World of Sports. Uh, but they talked about how these bears were, were trained to work with the guys at two minutes and 12 seconds in the video. Uh, the bear hits a snap mare, like an actual snap mare on, on, the, on the guy. Well, on the, to be fair, the Gene Dubois is pretty much just flipping around the bear. Yes. I give the bear too much credit here. <laughs> well, the bear, the bear puts his arms back and Gene flips over. And Gene flips the over, impression, yeah. This is the impression of a snap man. And, you know, like this is obviously an attraction match. And uh, yes. but, like the actual wrestling that's done is pretty much Dubois flipping around uh, the bear. And like they mm -hmm. wrestle for a second and then like the, re <laughs> the bear – um, eventually goes after the referee after Dubois at one point shoves the bear or shoves the ref into the bear, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, which I thought was was fun. And what makes this interesting is that on a recent podcast, I listened to uh, Something to Wrestle, the Bruce Pritchard podcast. Uh, they talked about when WWF became a publicly traded company and uh, then went to uh, be and then were eventually on the U.S. Uh, stock exchange. And they wanted to, they eventually did set up a ring on wall street which you know they talked about the history of that but they wanted initially vince wanted to have the rock the brahma bull wrestle a bear and at bear that, in the bull markets yes exactly so in stocks there's a bull market and a bear market and at that point bruce talked about how there wasn't that many wrestling bears left around there was one in canada i think um and they were going to have that guy come down but eventually that idea got nixed because you don't want a bull or a bear market advertised because a bear market means it's going down. So yeah. you want a bull market, which the rock was the Brahma bull. Anyway, that's a fun side note. Uh, this match, I, this match was fun for what it was. It, you know, it, it's a good, uh, you know, filler entertainment match. Uh, you know, if you're watching a full card, um, as far as the commentary with Meltzer and Cornette goes, I, I thought that it was really good. And like a lot of these times, on the alternate commentary for matches, it is just a history lesson. And I thought that they did a good job up until the Hogan and Nash digs. <laughs> and I realized this is from long ago. 
And it's like, I'm not a Hogan or a Nash apologist, but it's like that they, that deal is so old now. It's just like the fact that those two guys don't like Hogan. And, I, you know, uh, it's so tired now. So yeah, basically tired. it was the dig that the bear was a better wrestler and had more moves than Hogan. And right. And it just it took me out of it. It really did. And like up until that point, I wasn't thinking about how every single podcast has discredited Dave Meltzer in his entire history of journalism. Like, I wasn't thinking about that at all. I was just thinking, here's a guy that knows history, and here's Jim Cornette who knows history. And, uh, you know, Jim Cornette obviously has his fans and his haters. But, you know, I wasn't thinking about any of that up until that day. And it's like, oh, guys, come on, like, get over it. But anyway, this match itself was fun. Um, I'm glad you sent it to me. Um, it was uh, interesting to watch this after uh, the Sherry Medusa match, you know. But uh, yeah, this uh, is probably the most random match that w- that we'll ever review. Ab- absolutely. Who yeah. knows? We may top it. I- I'll maybe I'll try to figure out what might top this. But absolutely, a wrestling bear. That's going to be hard to beat. I think. Absolutely. Well, if you've seen this match, um, you can find it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you watch it, let us know what you think about it. Um, or what you think about wrestling bears in general. Uh, I think it could be something they could still use from time to time today, but eh, I don't know. Bears I think are predictable. D- so. I think, well, one, that, and two, I think that a lot of your animal rights activists would yeah. get on. I, I think that would be yeah. very hard to g- get get that by today. I think you would have way too much controversy, especially if it was yeah. on something major. I I mean, someone like AEW, like Tony Khan, who does not care, like Orange Cassidy versus Wrestling Bear, yeah. Like, like, like if anyone's going to do it, it would probably be AEW. Oh, gosh. I, you need to watch more AEW. I think they, now, they maybe, take the product maybe, a little bit more just, seriously than that. I would, I, I would say that because I think that, from what I know, that Tony Khan just has an attitude of, I don't care what anyone says. That, could be partially true. Oh yeah. <laughs> but if he does have a bear on, I would be shocked. So anywho, let us know what you think. Check out our show on uh Apple Podcasts and or Spotify if you'd rather listen to us and our full length episodes as well as our stupid questions. And for Leonard, my name is Chad and we will see you next time.